everyone, it's Muriel. So I seem to be having a little trouble with my uh, cell phone, the volume on it. So I'm hoping that this comes across loud enough. My daughter is has offered to help. Uh, we're going to upload it on her Mac. So I don't know what's going on, but I look like I'm going to have to pay a visit to the Apple store. But nonetheless, today after my doctor's appointment, I went over to Michael's because I saw a video of a YouTuber that uh from Canada actually that the Craft Smart Craft Mar Craft Smart paper pads were 497 and actually they the sign says buy one get two free and she showed one that I had to get and when I got there it was the only one so I am so happy but let me try I just went straight down the clearance aisle I got the paper pads and then I ran across the clearance aisle and found some of these goodies this is soft spoken embellishments i like to call them epoxy stickers and they're all fall related and they look like they'll go with any fall collection that i have and then there was some jewelry bead landing had these beautiful charms and they really look fall looking with the mustard and the navy blue and the minty green and the purple and then here are some vintage charms very very pretty i love that one it has a black bow on it and then this is a cat and that is a cat with a crown and a pearl necklace and then i have these glass beads um they are bead landing yes they are glass beads they cover up the thing you can't even know what you're buying so they have two dollars and 37 cents but they're really sparkly shiny so make something with that and another set of vintage charms and these charms here you can use on anything anna has been showing some beautiful necklaces and um natalie has been showing some bracelets so these definitely will come in handy or you can put them on your project i've put in these uh put these on cards i've put them on tags so just depends and then i just got this gold necklace chain it is 32 inches okay. so here's the paper pads i'll do a quick run through and then i want to ask you guys for a favor i want you to help me pick, decide something so one of them that i got is called boutique market very spring-like but um really really pretty they are really uh, good quality paper craft smart and you get two sheets of several designs so here is a bunch of um tags that you could cut out and this just screams um fussy cut to me actually really really pretty here's a bunch of furniture white furniture on purple background and then you have these beautiful flowers. And then you have this too. Same thing. You could fussy cut that. And this definitely is to be fussy cut. I watched a person this morning on YouTube. And she did fussy cutting. Of course, she speed uh, sped up the video. But she just watched TV. And she did all her fussy cutting. Because as you know, these paper pads don't come with uh, ephemera. So here's your ephemera right here. So um, she had a nice pair of scissors, a, a pair that I own, and I just need to commit to it and start out slow and then just let it come naturally. And then this is a sheet of cameras. They could be fussy cut too. Then you just have this wood grain, some more beautiful flowers. Now here's sheets with uh, tons and tons of words and phrases. Yes, those could be fussy cut. Beautiful houses. Some more flowers to be fussy cut out. Here, pink paper with perp with um, gold dots, and then that's a beautiful uh, page there. And butterflies for sure to be fussy cut out. And then you have some journaling uh, tags here, and then these white bikes on blue background. Then you have this page here. All of this is empty space. Definitely a scrapbooker's. Um, dream and then you have some butterflies and then these are border strips really pretty and then you have this purple um damask kind of pattern and then this white with these uh, candy dots all over it pink and uh minty green and yellow and then that page there which is totally vintage which i would just love to see a envelope made out of that and then you have that um 
page there. So really pretty. Glad I got this. There was so much to choose from. So when you go there, really take your time because they also have um, solid colors. If you are looking for that um, ombre of solid colors and blues and pinks and purples, and they have that as well. So that was one boutique market. And then I got Hearth and Harvest, right? A new fall collection. Same thing. Definitely worthy of scrapbooking. But um, I also think that um, these can be framed and um, put into frames and used as a wall hangings. It just depends. And then there are these beautiful pumpkins. And then there are more pumpkins and corn and roosters. And then you, you have some um, cutouts, cut aparts, and journaling spots. And this is just some leaves on a mustard color page. Probably could be fussy cut. Then you have the typical plaid, beautiful feathers, some more gold dots. That's gorgeous. That just needs the word harvest or thanks or blessed and put into a frame. Easy. And then here are some words could be cut out. Here is um, definitely to be cut out. Now, I did cut out one and made my first piece of ephemera. And I'll show it to you. I just used one of the Gina Marie circle dies and cut this out and put it on a foam background. So uh, that can be done. I had to match it up, you know, some dies to make sure it fit because I wanted to get the gold trim in the scalloped edge. And it did just that. So that's an idea there. And then more leaves. And then four beautiful prints. Again, if you had a wall that you had three picture frames that you can put those, line them up. That would be really pretty. Then there's another page there for some writing in the middle. Okay, beautiful leaves. And then you have some border prints from this collection as well. Very, very pretty. And then there is a solid plaid here. Pumpkins and squash. And then you have the alphabet mustard background and then you have this one here again something in the middle for sure and then you have this beautiful print of flowers and then leaves so that one is hearth and harvest and then the last one which is what i ran to get was the farmhouse absolutely love this definitely uh for decor i'll tell you and i'll show you in a minute so this one here has starts out with the buffalo check, which is a given. And is it these are I hope they're not. Oh, there are two. Okay. And then this beautiful chocolate brown with flowers. And this one here, I absolutely let me just kind of get my um, phone right so you can really see these pages. Look how gorgeous that is. That is farmhouse for sure. And I cut this out, and then you have this here with um, tiny houses on it. Wood grain, more wood grain. And then you have these, this blue and wood grain. And then home sweet home, certainly worthy of a frame. Like on your foyer table. And then this page here is like a light grayish. And then you have all that, those borders there, which are so, so cute. And then you have another one of those. So there were two of those. And then one of these. And then this one has the farm lights on top, which I love. I just saw um, Till Vacuum Must Do Part. She just put some of these farm lights, farmhouse lights on her patio. And it really is really pretty. Then you have that page there. This one here. And I like these types of um, prints because I have some wooden trays downstairs. I have two in my living room, one on the coffee table, one on the end table. And they have like a candle in them or a lantern in them and some books on them. And this, and I have always wanted to cover them. I go, you know, they're just, I don't want to paint them. They just look kind of, this is what I was looking for. So that's going to be some future projects for me. Again, four of those um Cut aparts that can be definitely put into a frame. And then you have this sheet here with these tassel 
on the edge. Definitely some cut apart, very farmhouse. That's a really plain color there, but I love it. More wood grain. Then there's some green. Oh, beautiful. Then again, these cut aparts. Oh, not cut aparts. These are border strips. Then you just have this one. It looks like a chalkboard. Love that. It has like a denim blue color to it. And some more cut aparts. And then this is the last image. And this again is called Farmhouse. So what I was thinking is I had downstairs a 12 by 4 by 12 pitch frame that I bought from Aaron Brothers before they closed. And I wanted to put a picture in it. And my daughter just recently gave me a picture. It was her and her friends, a landscape shot um, at college when they graduated. Well, that was two years ago. I don't want to put any more graduation pictures up, right? They've run their space and I already have some up. So I thought I would put an image in this frame. So this is a 12 by 4 frame. So I thought I would cut out the farmhouse house lights and put that image in this frame. And if not, then I wanted to use this one. So I need your help because I don't know whether I should use the plants. And if I use the plants, I think, um, I don't have the backing on it. I think some words need to go here. So if you have an idea of what a word go here should say or a phrase, I definitely will put that in there. Or do you think I should just keep the lights? I just love that. So I need your help. So please let me know. Just leave a comment down below. I hope you guys are getting out. Uh, stores are open. Um, you know, as they have been, you've been buying stuff online, but um, actually just have your mask on and go in and you know, be mindful of the directions. When I was in Hobby Lobby yesterday, this woman told me, she said, um, I just want you to remember that um, this was a, a, a patron, not a store person, that the arrows are on the floor. I was clueless. I go, oh my gosh, I didn't even see those. I'm sorry. And my cart was going the other way, of course. So just little tips that we have to now pay attention to. So thank you for watching everyone. If you're new to my channel, my name is Muriel. This is Miss Cooper's Coop. And I just looked over and I saw one more thing. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby too. I went in there, I saw it, I grabbed it. It was the only one. It's these wooden uh, measuring spoons. And I got this because I saw a YouTuber um, use these in a small white bowl dish or whatever cup. And she put it on her... Um, not her two, no, no, on her wall, um, she has a cabinet in her dining room, but I just love that look. Totally farmhouse, again, and this was a Hobby Lobby pickup too, the first time I went uh, like this week. So, thank you guys for watching, and please do leave me a comment down below whether you like the farmhouse lights or the uh, image of the plants with the word. Thanks again for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye now.